he's a bad guy in Baldur's Gate. And it's like just hearing him in the game basically playing Lucius Malfoy is so fucking cool. <laughs> Mars Mickelson being Thrawn again. And I don't know if anybody noticed, but the Thrawn in this is very different visually from the Thrawn that's in Rebels. His, his, his blue skin is darker. His hair's more... He's got a different shape to him. And to me, it looks like they've tried to blend the original animation with how he actually looked in Ahsoka to make him look a bit more like a real human rather than a bit of yeah. a caricature. Um, Deanna Lee is, uh, in Osanto is coming back to be Morgan Elizabeth. Anybody who doesn't know who she is, her father trained brutally, so she is fucking shit hot with martial arts in real life. She's awesome. Uh, she did stunt doubling in the 90s and is a full-time stunt, stunt uh, Hey, guys, expert. can you hear me all right? Jade, you're back. I need yeah. the password uh, to I'm get in. Pee. I'll be right yeah, I'll invite you manually. Hold on. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you guys could let me know, um, stream-wise, if you can hear Hold me. Hold on, Jade. Um, before we continue, if there's anybody there. <laughs> All right, Jade, I can hear you in there. Right. <clears throat> Thank Christ. If anybody's kind enough, if you can like that and watch it again, thank you. I'm sorry for all the trouble. Good. It picked up now, I think. I heard you on Thanks, the Elbow. Sorry to keep you waiting. All right, there we go. I've just done another announcement to say that's done. Right, uh, I did invite you, Jade. Hold on. It's not working, Checkers. I'm afraid. All right, I'll unlock it. You should be able to just join like you normally do. <clears throat> there you go. Um, mm -mm. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming back. I am so sorry about all of that freaking nonsense. I mean, to be fair, no one actually said anything until an hour in, and they were like, are you muted? Uh, so who knows? So but That's the problem. I always have the streams muted, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, I mean, if I'm in, my, if I'm in game with you, I mean, so... Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. You never know. But thank I'm you. I'm sorry. Thank you for coming along, guys. I'm really sorry about that. I don't know. Give happened. it a lick if you can. It's uh... please lick. Please lick <laughs> my stream. We, to be fair, have we ever had a stream without problems? You know. If um, you could I'm lick my stream maybe. and also be <clears throat> my sub, I would appreciate the sub, the subbing. All right, stop. Yeah, we were, we were talking. I was <laughs> sub to you. <laughs> wow. Uh, Jason is one of the best British, British actors. Well, Jason Isaacs. I actually do believe he is a phenomenal actor. My only problem with Jason Isaacs is he's got, as I've said to many streams, the Euro McGregor syndrome. I hear his voice and I'm like, that's Lucius Malfoy. That's it. <laughs> he's yeah, got yeah. just, and you know what? He he is a he's a really lovely guy as well. Uh, there used to be a critic uh, movie review done by Mark Commode and. Uh, Radio 2 presenter speaks, I can't remember his name. Uh, but Jason Isaacs was a common joke on there because they both knew him and he would often text into the show with different fake names, almost like a Bart, uh, Bart <laughs> ringing Mo. And make oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I see you. Uh, Mo, literally, right? He did. <clears throat> and it's because he lived, he lived not far out away from where they were recording. And apparently he turned up once or twice bringing like cake. He's such a nice guy. Awesome. Thank you for sticking um, around, guys. Really appreciate like, it. He, he, he too, like, you're too good to um, me when I'm terrible he at this. <laughs> in, like, if, there, if there was a film that he was in, he'd message in and be like, nah, that guy's shit, man. I hate him. Like, every time. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he's, uh, he's lovely. And uh, if I, 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 anything he's in, I don't think I've ever seen anything I dislike that he's in. Like, he's just, I like him. Plus the voice, like, you know. Um, yeah. Barry oh. Sophie, what? Is no, it, is no, it? God, it's, it's actually completely away from Star Wars, so actually carry on. Just remind me about uh, Pierce Brosnan, uh, Brosnan later, please. Okay. Uh, Pierce Brosnan. Barris of Fee becoming... So, <clears throat> you can go back about a year to where Bluffin saw the episodes where Barris of Fee is arrested uh, in the episodes of The, the Wrong Jedi. Um, and I said at the time, because at the time there was no information about what happened to Barris of Fee, I remember at the time doing a like talking about the what ifs and mentioning that I thought she'd become an inquisitor because that was the only logical path. I remember saying that yeah. over a year ago mm -hmm. and in the trailer, it looks like she's trained to become an inquisitor. Yeah. Which is um, we did. Path. We did discuss this, didn't we? I, remember. Yeah, I actually obvious, remember this. Yeah. Which is the obvious path. 
Uh, and obviously, anybody who doesn't know, Barra Sophie is voiced by the same person who does Ventress, which is awesome as well, because she's a hardcore Star Wars nerd as well, which I love seeing voice actors come back and being invited back. Also, most of that I was expecting. You know, Thrawn background, everybody wanted. Everyone loves Thrawn. More Grand Inquisitor, everybody wanted that. Barra Sophie expected. A bit more backstory on Ahsoka, because that kind of flopped as a series, so now they're doing a bit of hype for that. The thing that shocked me most, not seeing Vader, Seeing Vader in the trailer again makes sense based off the time. Yeah. Seeing Grievous was a shock. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. That was cool. So how? Yeah, I, uh, I I peed a little. I mean, how it could be across a long time period, like cutting in and out across. But the thing is, he is listed in the first episode. Where does he fit in? Because you've got Thrawn and Morgan Elizabeth's story, and Barris and the Inquisitor. There's no point in which I can remember Grievous still being alive at any crucial part of their lives, other so, than potentially she was sent to fight Grievous as training, and they go back maybe just before he died. But there's no other place he could fit in there. It doesn't make any sense. Could it just be a flashback, like a massive flashback sequence to earlier in her like Because she mentioned, yeah, no, wait, it makes sense because she <laughs> talks about the shit that happened with the um, separatists and how much she hates them, and then she joins the empire, which is like, oh, bitch, you don't even know. Yeah. You're getting <laughs> so maybe that's happening when her whole planet's getting completely destroyed by the separatists, and that's where that fight takes place. Because she does mention a bunch of stuff happening. Um, and you, you see mean, droids, and you, you see mean a flashback to before she's captured, maybe before she starts turning, as to showing where it's yeah, like that's that's what's caused her to be so filled with anger and turn to the Empire after the mm. sexes have completely what looks like decimated her world. Um, because yeah, you see flashbacks of like the uh super battle droids, yeah, um, mowing shit down, and then a little bit later, like they cut it a lot so it might be they use that segment from her talking about that you see the flashback of everything that's happened to her and that's how that flashback's going to end with her fighting grievous getting twatted about because it's you know as much as he is a bit of a coward like he's still grievous and then how dare then you carry on from there well you know i'm just saying that. or maybe the first ep whole first episode is her whole backstory. time to abandon ship um, and then, yeah, then you get um, I mean, Maris's backstory, and then it continues um, on from there. Maybe. I, I, I remember saying very early on, the way she turned seemed very sudden, considering she was studying under Luminara, who is considered one of the most mentally, not stable, but adept at controlling emotions. She was a very typical old school Jedi. She could yeah. come from a very different era. She was much more about. Um, I wouldn't mean, know if Luminara sensed anything about it. Well, that's the thing. Like, of all the Jedi that aren't the mainstream, you'd think Yoda, Luminara are both very similar because they were proper. They were like sentinels of thought. They were all about yeah. the mental side. Whereas yeah. Obi Wan, Mace Windu are more physical. Uh, Anakin, physical. Uh, Ahsoka, physical. Uh, Elias Kura, Kit Fisto, all mostly the physical. Luminara was had a very unique style of uh, of combat. She was. Very, uh, it's a, 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 a retsu, a, a retsu, a very unique style she used. That yeah. was very, she had her own custom style. She was very, that's why she went, she was with the Wookiees before Yoda got there. She was the one sent because yeah. she understood their whole living through the trees and nature. So, if anybody's going to pick up on their apprentice going a bit AWOL, you'd think she'd see it a mile off. And it's so true, but we don't know. The the like we say like this is what it's about. We don't know the in betweens of what started happening or who she spoke to or so, who started influencing her. In it part of way, my like... suspicion is so Luminar was captured on Kashyyyk, where you where you see Yoda and Avenger the Sith decapitate the two clones. Luminar was there as I think there were about five or six Jedi. They all died except Yoda and Luminar. Luminar was captured. Why captured? Not killed. Mm. Makes no sense. All the girls were killed. They kept Hold her. Up. Why? Was it maybe, which the series could touch upon, Barris was basically saying keep her alive for information because she knows more than most of the others? Was Barris involved in her being captured? Was Barris maybe giving them information for that time? Who, who knows? Because the problem up. is, the Battle of Kashyyyk is, is not long after the Ahsoka incident. Very close. No, once. no. But then so, you got to remember. Wait, I don't want to say spoiler, but in Rebels, you know, spoiler that happens. That's her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yes. 
then that's what a about? lot later on. Comparatively, that is you have to remember that's so Caleb. How like, long was she in that state? So you know? Canaan, Canaan, when it flashbacks to him, his master, he is Padawan. So what between the ages of eight and like eleven, right? And at the events of the series, he's very early 20s, like 22 to 25, maybe. So even if you estimate 15 years, how long was she imprisoned for before that happened? Because yeah. obviously Barris being captured and then being an inquisitor, that's over a period of 10 years as well. So by this point, Barris is going to be 30s, same as Ahsoka would be. Yeah. Well, uh, okay, here's a theory, and it might not make any sense. But, you know, at the end of the trailer, she is clearly having to fight someone as a final test. Yes. What if she has to fight Luminara as her final test? That was actually my thing I said to no Jane when I saw way. it. Because there's no information about how Luminara died. A lot of people exactly. suspect that she, she died in prison, which has never been confirmed. But also, I make... doubt she would be weaker, like, that weak to die in prison. But not exactly. not as a, an insult, not like she's a... No, 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 no. Yeah. No, exactly. You know like, what I mean? Like Yoda too, either. Exactly. So, my suspicion was either she fought Grievous, because he would still be alive at that point, which would be a reason to put him in there. Out of, because, again, he doesn't line up with either plot line, so he's in there for a purpose. So, either she's fighting Grievous, or her final test would be to kill Luminara. Now, bearing in mind Darth Vader was in charge of the Inquisitors, above the Inquisitor, lead Inquisitor. Yeah. What greater test of like being vile and evil would Vader put upon a young, you know, Jedi, whatever, than to kill their own master? There's no exactly. other better test. Yeah. So yeah. that would make the most sense. Um, and there's a so... reason why they didn't show who she's fighting properly. Yeah, I mean, didn't it show the, the, green the light? Movement... It shows a green lightsaber, doesn't it? I, I I don't know, but I think it might have been red. But I think that's because there was a table of lightsabers. Um, which he was picking from, and he must have given her one to fight with. And mm. again, insult to injury, make you fight with a red light. Eugene, saber, but, I didn't uh, realize. Movement... Sorry, go on. So, okay, <laughs> but like the the movement of both fighters is very very fluid, very mm. um, aerial combat, which kind of well, reminds again, me of Luminara Lu a little bit. Which Luminara, is very fluid. Lumin like I said, Luminara is like a monk, much like Yoda. Spends a lot yeah. more time in the air than on the ground. So exactly. Yeah. Okay, it kind of lines up, right? Yeah, I mean, again, there's that, but currently right now, you Google that on YouTube, there's probably about two billion fucking videos about my what's what my opinion of what the series is going to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, it's, it's, it's not going to be anything shocking, I don't think. Like, if it was Luminara or Grievous, neither would be that shocking. It would make sense. Uh, the only way it would be more shocking, I don't, in fact, I can't really think of an outcome that would be actually that shocking that would give me any kind of surprise. Um, no. There's nobody I can think who'd be alive at that point who would be at the Empire's disposal to be abused and used like that because all the yeah. other that I are dead. It's not going to be anybody. I was going to say, most were killed, weren't they? There's very few that were taken The prisoner. only ones that... There were only a handful taken prisoner, most of which were abused and executed. All the Inquisitors are former Jedi, every one of them. The Ninth Sister was abused and taken in. The Grand Inquisitor was the one that arrested Barriss He's the one yeah. leading her off. You know, so... Lo it's it's only logically going to go that way. There, it, it, Luminara is the only one I can think uh, in terms of council level of Jedi quality that will mm. be kept alive at that point. Like all the others can be accounted for of the major ones I can think of. So that makes sense. You think, you think Star Wars law should be a uni class? Yes. <laughs> I'm ready. Eugene, it's too bad Lord of the Rings doesn't have the depth. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry to interrupt Eugene, just then. No, That's no. what I was... He said that, That's and I bait. didn't realise that Eugene had actually put it's that. Bait. I thought it was that someone else, bait. and I was going to say, why are you baiting in the chat? <laughs> Stop Pickle masturbating yeah. in no. the chat. Pickle Rick. Don't, take, Pickle Rick, don't take the bait, man. Don't take the bait. Don't no, no, take no, no, the no, bait. No, no, no. Don't take the wiggly no, bait. No, I mean, no, look, I mean, I'll say this. It, all, all you have to do is look up on Google, on YouTube, is like a timeline of the Mandalorian saga. And it's about eight hours long of like just Mandalore's history with its leaders. And like I watched one and it was an hour and a half and I got through 30 minutes and I had already lost track of like the 40 leaders in that period. Yeah. Yeah, you're baiting. We knew it was like too easy. Um, <laughs> but Star Wars, if you include the legend stuff, has infinite amounts. Like Lord of the Rings will eventually run out of stuff we can learn from because it doesn't have creators who are allowed to create new stuff anymore, apart from Amazon. 
and they're not going to create anything that interesting comparatively. We're always going to run out. Star Wars can, potentially will go on forever and just keep getting bigger and bigger until it's too big and people just don't care anymore. Much like Warhammer's gotten, quite honestly. You can't just walk in and start learning Warhammer tomorrow because well, it I the the their theory i would assume of if it keeps getting bigger and expanding is there's always going to be something for someone yeah. like yeah i mean the downside is obviously if you're looking at it from a business perspective there's probably going to be diminishing rep- uh, returns because there's only so many people on yeah. the fucking planet um but in theory it's the same with like um like marvel and stuff like that like the comic books are just so big and expensive now but that, that there is literally something for every generation every type of person uh, is covered in that and it's the same with star wars now like there's so many different characters and laws and civilizations mm-hmm. and like that's what the great that's the best thing about having the vastness of the, vastness of the universe you can do anything yeah, you want exactly. in it. You're, you're, it's literally limitless like and it's yeah it's not all going to be fucking great but why yeah. i like i think it was you eugene who said to me when it comes to, I think, Lord of the Rings, anything really, but especially Lord of the Rings Star Wars, you look at it as if it's already happened and we're just learning more and more about it. And it's a great yeah. way of looking at like a world that, because just no give, one can give everything a chance to you, make your own mind up on it. Yeah, there you go. He's just said it happened a long time ago and we're learning. Right, let's do a game and then we'll come back because otherwise Elmo sat here just all night. Like... Poor freaking Elmo. We're playing a game? What? What? <laughs> Elmo, I'm <laughs> so was sorry. Asleep. I was just listening, even though I have no clue what you're talking about. (laughs) I'm so sorry, (laughs) Elmo! All I heard was the teacher from uh, Charlie Brown, like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's all called... Wow! (laughs) No, I I, I haven't watched any of that, so... (laughs) Poor Elmo! I can't really take. Bluffin, you should be paying elbow, man. You should be paying elbow. Guys, look, I'm a sailor. (laughs) (laughs) Look at your little belly button. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Elmo's Elmo's into The Witcher, which is fucking amazing. Which is amazing. And I've, have you seen the pictures? Someone's AI'd Liam Hensworth as uh, into Henry Cavill's pictures. No, thank you. Fucking idiot. No, thank you. <laughs> I, he, I, he put a picture up on his. Um, I saved you. Liam Hensworth has put a picture of him in the gym, getting ready to be Geralt, and he's just big. But he's Nobody cares. Big. He's not he's the same. Right, Henry Cavill is muscly, but he's also just huge anyway. Oh god, help me! When you're all muscle, but naturally not actually that big, you look weird, and he looks terrible. Yeah, I mean, I have no problem with that actor, but it's just such an odd choice to me. He's not Henry Cavill. At the end of the day, no one could beat Henry Cavill. Well, it feels like he's been picked on name, isn't it? Yeah. Like... Like, imagine like Joe Pesci getting really fucking buff. It doesn't matter. <laughs> like, Daddy Henry DeVito Cavill. starring in The Witcher. <laughs> You've seen Henry Cavill, right? He is a brick shit house. But like muscle wise, he doesn't look as muscly. He just looks like a big guy. Liam Hemsworth looks like a small brown hands. Rex, hold on to the chain, bro. Rex, hands. the chain, bro. Bro, the chain. Not my testicles. The chain. <laughs> We're holding little hands, though. Look. Uh, we're in love. Ah! Ow, that arrow just... Oh. We were in love Come for here. a moment. Come here, real love. He scared me when you do that. Come here, boy. Ha <laughs> 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 Get nodded. <laughs> no! Now you're both screwed. <laughs> Right, Elmo, truce. Truce, come here, take the chain. That's it, good lad. No, no, Elmo! Elmo! I will not lose. I will not Ah! lose this fight, Ray. You missing the chain. We'll fight. We'll fight this like men. How dare you? Come here, you little bitch. (laughs) Oh my god! It feels like a mature way to look at it. You're just seeing it as a story unfolding. Rather than Disney made it and I don't like it. Oh no! The, whole Dis- the Disney cancer argument is 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 just putrid. You know that a majority of more than half of reviews for things, games, films, especially online, are all just fake anyway. Oh. Nothing is uh, real. 
go and start me on Lord of the Rings. And then yeah. I wasn't gonna. I literally watched a video about. Um, <laughs> oh shit! What's her fucking name? Oh. Oh, I've gone completely blank on that. Oh. Oh, 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 oh no! I'm going as well. What? Ah. <laughs> Sorry oh, for the chair, the everyone. It's really squeaky. Oh, oh no! No. Yeah, oh. oh, come off it. Technically not dead. It's not your birthday yet, you piece of shit. Yeah, Limp, I, um, <laughs> I literally, I literally ah! so I got on YouTube doing a video about Ungolians, and it's like, he was like, yeah, this is half an hour, but I could probably go for another six, and you would And she dropped your hat. Surface. I know. Fucking Ungolian, man. If you want Nightmare Fuel from Lord of the Rings, look up un Ungolians. Are you on your hat? Do you, do you want your I'm hat back? This barrel. Hold on. Do you want, yeah, I've got your hat. I'm oh. not willing to go your hat. Get off my gummy center. No. <laughs> no, I want to know. Hey, my stats are true. Every stat I quote is true. Essentially, you can't trust anyone's opinion but your I own. Almost so. Did. When did nope. you. How? I exploded. No! <laughs> You're out of bullets! <laughs> bullets! Uh, bullets! Bullets! <laughs> Ow! Oh. Dude! I, I, I oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! You son of a bitch! Hey Rex! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Oh, it's windy out there, I tell thee. You rotten hell! Ah! Oh. oh no, are you alright? The barrel hit me right in the head. That, I'm that fucking stung. That's all I'm gonna say is if you, you know, enjoy a brand of something, me. just try it, okay? You never know if you'll like something. <laughs> you tripped! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> you dweeb! <laughs> what happened there? I don't know, I knocked myself out apparently. Oh. oh no. Oh. 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 Hold oh. on to me, please. No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> he did it again. <coughs> Hello, no, what's up, those? Thank you for coming by on this stream where I actually have sound and can talk to people. Awesome. Yeah. I love oh, a map that sucks you room. off and puts you in a hole. It's my favourite. Don't start. <laughs> Don't even start on June. I mean, you can't. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, that. I lost my hat. No, not already! You penis muncher. Ah, <laughs> oh, my face! Take my fish! Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Let me hold on to your tiny little corkscrew, Willy. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> Why is that the thing you have to bring up? Get a foot bat! It is though. <laughs> I know, but why do you have to think of it? It's like every time you think of a fox, it's like, oh yeah, they've got a barbed penis, don't forget. It turns me on. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, well, yeah, that's another one off the checklist. You never <laughs> showed me your checklist of what we can and can't say on the stream. Ah! That was such a good shot. Um, yeah, I need to find it again. RUN! Elmo, no! Oh no! Elmo! Elmo, you absolute slut. <laughs> 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 you dirty boy! I've got a fish! May he protect you Ooh. all the time. It's the landing Ooh. that gets me. Elmo's just taken it out and everything in the vicinity at the end. <laughs> it's mine! I take the boomerangs! <laughs> Ow! Can you nope. take it though? Hey! No! Well, shit. Oh, oh no. my god! <laughs> um. What happened, guys? Ruffin, where did you go? To <laughs> hell! I thought I'd give everyone else a chance. He got sent straight to hell, man. Really? Oh, oh yo! I mean, you were Knock myself out! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! 
Oh, you were so cl you were gonna push me over. I know you were. Oh, I'm sorry, Alma. <laughs> I'll hold on to you. I'll hold on. <laughs> I do. I do like living <laughs> in Prospero. I will admit. Yeah, I do too. It's Plus, very weird. Leonard Nimoy is a fucking hero. Was yeah. I adore Batman so? Oh, Elmo! Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh, Come here! Come here! I'll get you one day. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game, I'm so good at it. <laughs> I thought it would protect me, but somehow physics just blew it right through. The Thank you for dropping in, Water. No. It's always lovely to see you. You take care. Uh. Uh. Oh! Uh. I'm just gonna do this. Uh. Elmo! Sorry, Rex. I'm trying to hit me and hit me! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I can only... Because you've... Oh, that in the because you've up, you've upped everything and now we're just flying everywhere. My face, Bluffin! You've got your fingers up my nose! <laughs> Get them out my nose! <laughs> Bluffin's my ghost... <laughs> You're like my ghost booger, it's great. <laughs> I'm just... I'm d ah! <laughs> <laughs> you stay away from me. Well, will we do this together as friends. Yeah, yeah. All friends. right. Mummy. <laughs> what? 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 Hi. <laughs> See you later. That was like low gravity. There's that a slow mo death. That was great. <laughs> that was brilliant. Get him away! Oh, yeah. Get him away! I get up. I'm just gonna lay it. Yo! Ooh! <laughs> I was about to land on your head, boy. Moments before disaster. <laughs> oh, I feel it. I feel the power flowing through me. Oh, ouch. I feel the gopher flowing through my anus. Oh, it makes me feel powerful. Yeah, Bluffin, when you get some time, look up Ungoliant. It's Shelob's mother. Oh. It's, it's oh, a beautiful I've creature. Seen, I've, I've heard some stuff about this, yeah. Yeah, Not Ungoliant, much, but... Ungoliant was thirsty for light, even though it hurt her. She absorbed the light and fed on it and created nothing but darkness. <clears throat> yeah, created Shelob. And... One time when I was uh, talking about Lord of the Rings stuff, right? Hey? I think, yep. I think what? yeah, it's in the Lord of the Rings channel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put some pictures up, but that was like that was like six months ago. When yeah, I was yeah, really, a yeah. while. Yeah. Uh, but I Bluffin's love Ungolian. Ungolian's my like, mummy. Every time I mention it, Bluffin's like, "Oh yeah, you said something or something about." Something. Bluffin really likes spiders. <clears throat> yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, Ungolian is different though. Not really a spider. So. It's my mother. Oh, hold on. Yeah, Little Long and Prosper. I love. Yeah, Little Nimoy, man. He's he was fantastic. I don't like Shatner, but Nimoy. Fucking, we had some great catchphrases for Bluffin, and I can't remember them all. Um, hold on. Which is the best character slash costume combo on this game? Oh, I thought you were going to say in general. No. Oh, that's Which, really difficult. I, I will put my vote for the for the duck hot dog. I think that's probably one of the best. Oh yeah. Sherlock Holmes duck. Pretty much the duck gets all the best ones. Have you all seen the new Apple duck? Like they're all. It literally says on it. I, I have, have a got a. I've have got, got a pretty apple. good. I've got a bunny Easter one, which is really cute. I'll use in a minute. Yeah, but cute's not good, is it? We want stupid. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Tron. OG. Sorry, mummy. I tell you what, the original Trons are okay, but they ha they they were too like they're too silly and cheesy. I actually really liked the Tron with Jeff Bridges. I really enjoy that film, even though it's not very good. I just really like the new. I, I think um, visually and uh, from a soundtrack perspective, it's amazing. Yeah, like, yeah. Like the acting is the stunning. plot. The plot is terrible. The acting from Jeff Bridges is astonishing. The rest, eh. uh, I like seeing um, Olivia Wilde in it because she's awesome. I love her. Probably Jeff you, Bridges is a Pussy. fucking king. I adore Jeff Bridges, um, and I love the film. Like audio, visual stories. Ass, yeah, but they like, used, um, was it Hans Zimmer and M83? Or was it yeah, not Hans Zimmer? Uh, yeah, no, I know M83 were in it. Um, they've done a lot of music for it. And I listened to that soundtrack, and then there's a remix album of that soundtrack from other artists who just like take a track and they just they just roll with it. And it's like, it's you know, the sort of like it's there's no lyrics, but the the just the sound that's coming out, it just makes the hair on your arms like stand up. It's just insane how good it sounds. 
Lube okay, up. so <laughs> I was going to say that, Lib, and then I forgot I was going to say it. I'll do it in a minute. Lube up natural. your ear, cat. Um, okay, say the so, pussy. No, it's, uh, the music is all Daft Punk. Da- da- Daft Punk, that's it. M83 done a remix, that's it. And I don't particularly like uh, Daft Punk. Um, I don't <laughs> dislike them, but I don't have like a lot of people got really obsessed with them for a bit yeah, and no, i had to listen to a lot of this stuff like it's it's cool they're very cool but i don't i'm not like if it comes on like in a bar or something i'm, I'm not gonna turn it off your, you can't help bob your head but like it's we nothing special. yeah i, I wouldn't go out of my way to listen to it let's go How about that that tron film that came out 15 years ago oh wow my god <laughs> wow <laughs> Like that's and you guys are getting the quote wrong. Wow. It's not just that, by the way. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming back. And um, thank you for letting me know about yeah, the uh, sound problem. I think I just had a couple uh, of issues. So um, thank you very much for that. Here's like my you. drink. It's no, got ice. We've got the audio. You might hear some weird yeah. noises there. <laughs> me slurping. Get your trousers off and leave blue up your ear pussies. We're getting stuck in. I'm so glad you said that sentence. I don't know about you, but I'm just ready when you say that. You know, just (laughs) ready. Just ready for anything. To give, to receive, I'm ready. (laughs) My game crashed. No, it didn't. I hate you. (laughs) As a human being and a person, I hate you. Quick, give us something to talk about, because it's going to take a minute to catch up. Are you guys in, or is it just stuck on loading for you as well? Stuck on loading. Stuck on loading. Nah, it's crashed. Well... Cheers, Rick. You ruined people. my birthday. I thought well, I did with what it. happened with me. Uh, why would you? Yeah, but yours Wait, wasn't intentional. Wait, I've loaded in the thing. game. Yeah, yeah you, you guys will still be able to put... You guys just play that one out. It'll take me a minute to load in. But anyway. it means I'm in charge. Yeah, 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 yeah don't worry. I'll just remake another one in a minute. Look how s- fucking sarcastic and unimpressed. <laughs> unimpressed. He looks so unimpressed. Uh, cheers, Pickle Rick. But, uh, love you and love you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bitch! Oh, Pickle Rick, that better not have been a play. If I find out you were in touch That screen, dodo is amazing. Figuring out how to distract me for long enough for us to do that. My brother in Christ, I have nobody over here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, catch you on the next one, dude. Thanks for stopping in. I mean, to be fair, again, not many people come these nights. This is, this is why we did it as a... Bambo! Stop trying to beat me! I have a little backpack! You have to stop! <laughs> I'm cute! Kind of terrifying <laughs> with the sunglasses. God. Like, there's just no emotion <laughs> in his face as he tries to It's really him. disturbing. Get in there. Get in the drink. Uh-oh. I know, so Liv. I was joking, my fire, sweet. So Thank you for of... staying. I was only being Weird. silly. Thank you, Ink, as well. You have good news that I won't Wait, ever no, know. I'm... Why? I want to know the good news. He goes um, in um, I'm under the oh. ice. I no, can't. Guys. Help! <laughs> this is a first. What do I do? <laughs> I I died. <laughs> oh, I've got your glasses oh here. Oh my I god! Under the sea. I threw them in the oh, drink as well! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you went after your glasses! No, thank you for staying, guys. I love you all very much. Is you Eugene know. off? Thank you for staying, YouTube. We love you very much. Oh, that was brutal. Guys, this is I nasty. Felt like I was in WWE. <laughs> you can jump in, can't you, Rex, like this? Nope. You can't jump in. Yeah. Wait, no, Elmo did once. Yeah, he did. No, no, no don't worry. I'll wait till the round's over. Rex, why? <laughs> why do you do this to me? Uh, uh, kick your ass, boy! Make this a quick round! Alright. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! Elmo. Oh, wow. That's what you get. Stop! Oh, <laughs> I can't move! You fucking How are bitch! You okay? How are you fine? You're still being electrocuted. Drown! I'm ice, fire, and. 
Electricity. <laughs> Drown! <laughs> the I'm so sorry, Alba. I will try and avenge you. Oh, yes! Geez. Look at my little bow! Oh, uh, oh man. <laughs> Thank you, Eugene. <laughs> You beautiful bastard, you. you beautiful bastard. Well, I have a bat. No, oh. I don't. Um, do you have that stuck on your face? No. It's oh. another horn. I'm actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Holy mother! No, 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 no,
Come here! I can, you have a hat! Give me your hat, I want it! We were just fumbling around like idiots. Oh, you make sure you tell your friend to sleep. Thank you for sticking around. I like, really appreciated it. Oh no, you saw me! It's been a bit That's of a right, slow <laughs> night, but thank you. Let go of me! Let go of me, sir! Oh no! Oh. I got you! No, I'm holding on to the- ah! Oh, Elmo! <laughs> oh, this plan is working amazingly! <laughs> you little shit! You're pushing everyone off! I didn't- I haven't touched a single person. It's all been done by their own hand. Ooh, banana. thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Why would you do this? I can't believe you've what done this! Shit. What a piece of shit! <laughs> I don't like that. I think we should all gang up on him. Oh, I'm going for bluffing. <laughs> Everyone, I'm bluffing. Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! Oh, ah, no. Betrayal! <laughs> Do you mean betrayal? <laughs> Rex betrayed me. <laughs> you have done that yourself. <laughs> Oh, I just slithered wow. off like, fucking, like a lazy poo. Just whoa. <laughs> like a lazy poo. Hey, you know, a lazy poo. I didn't know poos could be lazy. Oh! <laughs> Do you think this death. The cat sounds are slightly different. They're all a little bit different, aren't they? Just a tiny bit. Enough to differentiate them. <laughs> this is what happens every time you go to bed and you leave your window open at night and you hit cats. This is what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> this also happens when you punch cats and knock them out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't do that, kids. <laughs> I will light up the stage. Oh, what a... <gasps> No! No, let me kill myself! No! Ah, uh, cat! Ah, uh, the holes! <laughs> Fuck it up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, are we the only ones here? No. Ah, you pushed me over! Me and Rex are here in spirit. I am full of piss. Why? Mm. Why am I holding this but not drinking it? Banana. Uh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's never not funny. I'm behind you! Don't you tell him! <laughs> oh my god! Don't you tell him! Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> you were oh, cheating! Incredible. Cheating from me on the grave! See, sometimes being dead is still funny because you just get to see that shit from a different angle. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, see, everyone wins. Is Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Ah, you shit! No! 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 Oh, la vista! Oh! I really threw you off, didn't it? Guys, look out for the bananas. Fucking bananas. I can't catch you, I'm too stupid! Nothing can't hit you, he's too stupid. <laughs> 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 I'm trapped in this dance fuck forever. That. Did you say fuck that? No. I can't pick it up, I'm just still stupid, I guess. <laughs> 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 My three year old oh, no, no. took a huge poop last night when he was done. He looked in the toilet and said, Look at that big snake poop. Wow, I'm so proud of your child. Limp. Give him, give him my blessings for his big snake poop. Oh, I was reading the chat, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been there. 
All I'm hearing about lately is people's kids bothering them while they're trying to poop. What is going on? You know what? No, kids, bitch. Kids, yeah. kids just, just live longer in your life, right? Yeah. Oh, that's a no. Point. Every time he has a massive poo, my son comes up to me and he's just like, Daddy, it was this big. And he puts his arms all the way care. behind him. It's incredible. Care. Yeah, but when I when I go to the library and I tell the librarian I've done a massive poo, I'm public indecency, like it's not fair. Well, you got to pick the audience, you know. Yeah, weird fucking men who have got kids such weird. You want to talk about it? I'll hey, send you. I'll send you my poo. Poo's are bigger than mine, all right? If I, that's not going in the Guinness Book of World Records, I don't know what is. No one fucking wants to know. I'm afraid. I do. Yeah, I, I learned that you know the hard way. You know the we, 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 we watch like one or two streams and Twitch videos, right? And every fucking time their kids get mentioned, it's like 20 minute discussion about how adorable this thing is they've done. And it's like, no one fucking cares! <laughs> hey, hey. Jesus Christ! I'm so sick of hearing about children. Hey, fucking My son. I'll send you some pictures of poo though. It better be bigger than my son's, otherwise I don't care. Oh boy, you are in for a treat. I don't know, I don't know if you... I'll find you the first big proper poo, my god. I sent it to my friends, only three of them liked it. They're weird friends. You need, ba you need bad friends to rate the poops. I mean, I think they were being... I think they're being polite for most. Pretty dude. Oh, I didn't Aww. get that picture. Uh, we that need picture. to have one nice picture, guys. Next time, it will be nope. really nice, and we'll nope. just have a nice picture. No. We need it. <laughs> Niente. Nip. I said nine. Nip. Nip. Nine what? Nine. Whoa. <laughs> Nine. Whoa. Nine. Who who sings that? What German band? Ramstein. That's it, Ramstein. Yeah. yeah. I they they come down, don't they? From yeah, yeah, yeah. one to ten or something. No, yeah, yeah. It just only people only know that bit, and I, it's just it's. I like the bit where the guy does the Elmo phone and plays it, doing like the Cookie Monsters version of Nine. You see, Matt, you can't stand one. Oh, yeah. it's, an, it's a Sesame Street phone, and each number is a, is a character, but Nine is Cookie Monster, so it does the. Do, 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 and it's just, no. <laughs> <laughs> said this game puts the bash in birthday bash, and now I think I'm gonna end myself. Yeah, I deliberately. Look at that shower duck! Oh. <laughs> He's got the best outfits. But I'm an adorable puppy dog. You can't hurt me. Ah! You are quite cute. Wow. <laughs> take that, you silly bastard! Um. I'm trying to take off the lyrics now for this song. Elmo, you uh, shouldn't have gotten out the shower! Nine, fear, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. about uh, marrying or something. Oh. Bist du, bist der Tod, I try to destroy your sign. There we go! He says nine. <laughs> nine! Yeah, yeah, I do that. My face! It's breaking! Bananas! Bananas. Bananas. Oh no. Okay. Holy Ooh. shit! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I like a bit of Ramstein every now and again. I just want a hog! I just want a hog! <laughs> <laughs> We're over here! Go over here! Uh, it's fine, we're hugging, we're hugging. I got my backpack! We're, we're, we're hugging. Hey, look at what I've got, guys. Yeah. Guys! Ah! Oh, yeah, my blood! <laughs> Whoa, you almost flew, Rex. What? Why? I don't know why? why, Rex. I thought you were about to start seeing let my people go, and I don't <laughs> Just, you, you, you just made noise. Him down, him down. <laughs> no, no, let go of it, Elmo, let go! Stop crying, Boromir! <laughs> this is your end! Took the, took the little ones! Don't, it's still too soon. I forgot out. I've actually ran out of ammunition. <laughs> I ran out of ammunition! Oh god, it hurts! Oh Jenny, god! Jenny, <laughs> Jenny. Oh my 
god! My brother. Oh. My king. That would also be up there for movie moments, I think. Yeah, yeah. That one um, <laughs> grew on me as I got older and older and understood more and more about the film and after reading the book. That yeah, one yeah, gets yeah. harder every year I watch it and it's painful. No, the potion! I think, I think what? above all... I'm sorry! <laughs> Ruffin, you playing the same game as us? What was that? No, I'm playing Apex. So. I'm hard holding on. <laughs> Please, yeah, no! Theoden's is. Oh, no. Ah! There's Thayden's one on each son. leg! Help! Theoden's son, I should have said that. No! Oh, yeah, that one. That, that, one, and that one and Boromir are the two. Let go of my and legs, man! Frodo saying goodbye at the Great Havens. Oh! Oh, Byrex! Oh, really oh, really hurts. Really is just after no. um, <laughs> no. someone now uh, falls um, and everyone <laughs> leaves and everyone's crying <laughs> and already very emotionally charged and then that was no look fair. Uh, Frodo yeah yeah all that happens and it's horrible and then they're like where's Frodo and it cuts to him walking away and he just looks back and he looks like this sad little boy with tears in his eyes yeah. and it fucking destroys me to this day like it's never not made me like well up why are you so sad horrible. man Ganondorf lives it, it happened again, Everyone guys. Every one of Sean Bean's lines is delivered with such passion and energy. It's it's like that's it, it, like, that's why he was just he he regardless of the character, he was just so fucking good in that. Sure. And his so. character is actually so good. Like not necessarily nice picture. In the books, uh, you get good, so uh, much more of him. But yeah, it's way more in depth. But I think Sean Bean <laughs> done with what he had in terms of. Like the ability to make that character as nuanced as possible. I think he done a fucking phenomenal job. Like, yeah. Yeah. just in his delivery of certain lines. Like, you never, like, as a kid, I saw him as this kind of like, potential villain. But as I get older, you watch it and you're just like, this dude is just desperate. He's so desperate to save his people. And he's the perfect candidate for the ring to try and, like, um, manipulate. Uh, yeah, manipulate and twist and stuff like that. And, like, you can see it in his delivery like near the end with um <coughs> excuse uh, me with frodo like he genuinely still I, believes that he's like, am, in control and... why do you shy i am no thief you know it's like yeah. he, he actually believes that he is nothing yeah he's just, he's you know. so like kind of twisted by his like desire and the ring like it just he just he that's what even upsets me second. about the longer version explains so much more yeah yeah the extended like, uh, that's the thing, if you're extended, gonna watch it only watch the extended yeah, it's like the extended. You don't get much more of Legolas. You only get a little bit, but then you don't need it. Gimli, you don't get much more of. You don't really need it. Aragorn, you don't get much. It's the other characters that I feel get less attention in the main one, like yeah. Boromir and Faramir. They just get a few extra scenes, and it changes them entire. Especially Faramir, because mm. he's such a he's such a weak. Like he he he's played as a very weak minded, downtrodden person. But when you get the extended. He is the same, but it just lets you see why, and that's all it needs. Like, and the fact that Peter Jackson's like, you're not another Rex. six hours of each film if you want. Do you see? Very three comments. Colin, <laughs> but Colin, this game has more realistic lighting than Squad Forty Four. It's also got better audio too. Colin, you beaut, <laughs> you beaut. Oh, that might be the best comment. Yeah, that that might be the best comment. That's I've fantastic. Seen on the stream yet? Oh. Fuck it. Wait, let me um. Oh, I see what you've done there, Rex. You put the two dum dums together. Hey, what? I'm I'm that, I mean, on, I'm, I'm talking that. about your side. I'm talking about Rex's side. Hold on. Um, I like I'm how you go in. straight to assuming that I'm a dum dum with you, Bluff. Mm. Thanks. How dare yeah, you? Well, I, put in, I put it in quotes. I put it in quotes and reference that it's. Colin, you, you will be immort You will be immortalized <laughs> in the Discord Hall of Fame. Thank yeah. you, Colin. If, if I could pick people. Like and single people out and give them membership, I would, but I can't. I can only do it randomly. All you can do you know, is very nicely ask there. those people, like and subscribe, or we'll send someone after your family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be an elephant because I've always wanted to see an elephant get hit by a giant hockey puck. You're gonna be really I mean, sad when your glasses come off. The, the internet is filled with that sort of thing. Oh, I so. love that cow! I want him. <laughs> I want him so much. Get ready. Oh, oh god damn it. Luffin, you shit! You shit! <laughs> I hate you. Get off my team. Get off my team! Get off my team! 
<laughs> they don't I'm mean it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be on your team. You know, absolutely terrible defending. Terrible. <laughs> what could he do? I mean... I mean, what could, what could an elephant do against a koala, you know? Oh! <laughs> nice shot! That was a nice shot, Bluff. Yes! Oh, there you go! Man. Uh, now you're saying, Jay? What are you saying now, Jay? Jay, what are you saying now? I'm saying that Bluffin is an asset to my team. You absolutely. I mean, um, can we just call him Elmo here? Wrong button. Did you just call me an absolute peasant? I'm a member, you know thank what? you. I literally, every time anybody says, <laughs> say, I ran out of bullets and it would be like, yep, yeah, alright. I forgive Good. Elmo and everything. Oh, I'm not looking at the right person. <laughs> I wonder why they're getting further and further away. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Eat I my puck, you time. slut! <laughs> Good luck, guys. I got her. <laughs> the physics aren't all over the place. What happened? What happened to that? What happened? <laughs> What made it go so crazy last, last This is yeah, why there is know. no such thing as women's sport. Go! Stop trampling on me. Ah! <laughs> Yay! Well done! Shut Woo! up. Oh my god, okay. You haven't given, forgiven me for the so start well yet. The first hit, it was great. Look at me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Yo! Oh, did I hit you? I'm sorry. It's exactly the copy of Koala in Sing. It is! It is! What's, what's that character's name again? Oh! I can't get up! You're tripping over your trunk there, fella. Open! So is my anus! Right. Ah! Cow! Wall cow! Oh. My carcass protected the cow. <laughs> Why are the physics so bad that time? Because they're, they're not now. That's so. I don't know what calls that. I really don't. Oh, I, don't know what it is. I know what it is. I didn't change the sentence back after I reloaded. Hold on. Let me finish this now. I have to kill it. Sorry! We were playing a peasant game. No stamina. Ah! Ow, I went clean over the puck. Oh! Get off! Rich, you caught me in mid-air, you son Ooh. of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? No! Please, Elmo! No, Elmo! No! <laughs> he itched it in! <laughs> Thanks for the help there. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to not. Oh, I'm I'm going to actually. Oh. It's just crumbling in the air rapidly. It's so funny. Oh, I'm gonna pre. I'm gonna pre. Why does the sports mode give me a headache? It makes my brain hurt. <laughs> Mr. Moon! What? Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. You feel like you're on a team under him. <laughs> Shut <laughs> your horse! <laughs> 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 if only I had a teammate, you know. Elmo, what are you doing? Oh, red over me! Oh, God. I'm telling you, if you insult me one more time, I'm gonna make your pronouns here slash was. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! I'm gonna hang myself in the netting. <laughs> Rex, could you read out what Colin said there? A minute. Not to ignore you, Colin, my dear. We're just uh, having a bad time and a good time and a bad time. <laughs> Yeah, we do it in between games, otherwise it ends up being a mess. Tra trash content. Bluffin, I hope you're bitten by a plague rat. I hope your face sloughs off of your skull. 
<laughs> oh, like in Casper. Oh God. <laughs> what? what version of Casper? <laughs> in Casper, it, when it, when the boy go, <laughs> when goes, when goes, the go, in the original Casper, when he goes into the machine to turn him human, it doesn't work. And when it opens up, he's like a fried egg, and his face is sloshed all over the place. Oh my yeah, God. well, I hope. I do not remember that. I hope Bluffin opens the Ark of the Covenant and gets his face melted off. No! <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass! I'm gonna beat your ass! Oh, okay, I'm glad Colin explained the title. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, wait, what? Have I missed the book or something? Is there like a secret fourth Lovin, book? You defended that really well, I just wanna say. Well, Who the hell I'm is Arwen? <laughs> I think I got that in. With Chunky's help. <laughs> I actually went to knock out Bluffin! You weren't even moving! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna pop! <laughs> oh, Bluffin! That was awesome! I thought I just was even up! You, you did a freaking flip, bro! That was wicked! Awesome, cool! You're my, <laughs> you're my best friend! Awesome, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not an AI at all. I promise. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not going in the quotes. We Wicked, still awesome, cool. Uh, ah, well. I don't need there, that. It's some... mostly me talking about me shit myself. Well, exactly. Yes. I want to remember when you did it. Like every ah! every day, bro. Oh, every day of my life. We what? You think you need to give me like extra powers or something? I mean, what? The, elephant than... is, the elephant feels really clumsy because it's got the extra limb thing going on, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> a massive penis. Yeah, you mean, I was going to say, yeah. so it's normal yeah. for you, yeah? No! Oh, oh well, well, oh! No, not again, not again, get oh. off my schnoz! Oh. No! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Did you just kick it? Did you just kick it in there? It was going in either way. I had to try and just divert it or something. But Let's see in the right. replay. The replay will tell it all. See, it almost went away and it just bounced back. I, I was out of options. You would have got it before I got there, so I had to jump. I would have made the same move. It's okay. Alright, I know why the, the physics weren't up right, because I didn't uh, change I'm going to murder you now. <laughs> I'm saving that one. <laughs> the cow's just the dead eyed stare. <laughs> right, I've got to put the, uh, the stamina up and the health up. That's why it didn't. Bluffin! Hold on. Uh, All he's doing is pissing. He does that. Uh, where is it? Let me see. That. That. Who the hell is a hot with that? What is he drinking that makes him piss so bad? Nothing. Anything. Nothing. He just pisses all the time. Right. Let me. I <clears> wouldn't <throat> crawl over her to get to Gimli, but I prefer an accurate story to you. Yeah, that is. Awesome. Right. I need to. Uh, yeah, Faramir got Faramir in the book is a totally different character, and like, although I never remember the guy's name who plays him, but he did. He did a great job of it, but he was played too much as a as a sappy like kid rather than a downtrodden yeah. man. He went too far into the sappiness and it kind of made the character not unlikable, but <clears throat> not... <clears throat> Boromir went from an egotist to actually being a man who has kind of been hollowed out and built around what his father wanted. And you end up going from not liking him to liking him, where for me as Faramir, it starts off like, oh, he's quite cool and it's like he's like downtrodden to just being like, he's just a bit of a sad sap and it kind of put me off of him. But whereas in the books, he's a bit more like... Boring. Rex, has Colin there used the word Tory as a... Has he blurred out the word Tory? All right, hold on. Let me... I reread before the movie came out. So it's been like, where the hell is Arwen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it? What's it? Strategic intelligence. <laughs> yeah, Tory, yeah. 
<laughs> I love there's more thought and strategic intelligence gone into this game than any recent Tory leadership contest. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd rather watch this than politics. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. When Amazon did their thing, the condition was Peter Jackson wasn't allowed anywhere near it. Oh, that's, that's wrong, because he was involved as an advisor and he was thanked in the credits. So he was he was involved, but not actually directly in production or anything. No. <laughs> but to be fair, the no, thing the the, the, you've got Buff, the, the, town, the, Hobbit is, pickle. the the reduction cost to the Hobbit were ten times what it was for Lord of the Rings. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think the first what? Hobbit film cost more than the more entire trilogy. trilogy. Yeah. Yeah. What? And they still yeah. had worse CGI. <laughs> yeah, and the reason being is that it wasn't really Peter Jackson or any of his direct people he was involved with, like Philip Boyens and like, all the great names. That was more of a, um, it was Warner Brothers, wasn't it? Or it was the above, essentially, that was pushing, you know, the use of CGI to make it cheaper or not having extras to not it need would be quicker as well uh, compared to exactly. The, like, you think how much, it, like 10 and, years and, from and start, bearing in mind, yeah. Peter Jackson was like 15 years older at that point, and like he said, the original trilogy nearly killed him, and like yeah. he was younger then, and he just said he couldn't do that level of work again. So, the problem is, much like Lucas. When you remove the practical effects and you rely on CGI, you're never going to get a quality finish. The only, I would say, the only live action film that was made, and I would say not better, but made just what it is in terms of quality, as in the CGI made the film so, rem so memorable and incredible, is the Pirates of the Caribbean, Davy Jones. That's the only mm, CGI mm. that improves something so much that without it, it would be nothing. That CGI is the only CGI I can think in recent memory that a film where you look at it and it's not like you're looking at CGI. It looks so fucking real. Yeah. Mm, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can no think of a few others, but that is insane. The one. Like, to me, that CGI is peak what CGI could have been. And for me, it's gone downhill since. And bear in mind, that was, I think, 2007? No, two thousand yeah, 2007, right? Yeah, I think 2007 and 2008 were the, the last two. Uh, it, so 1999 was uh, Curse of the Black Pearl. 2007 was the second one. 2001. 2000... 2001 for the first one. Was it? Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Um, I, only, I only say earlier than that because... The first uh, pirate copy DVD I ever owned was Pirates Caribbean, and I was always like, I had to. Keep it. <laughs> um, you know, so... I remember a story where a guy used to turn up in our village, and he'd open up the back of his car. <laughs> yeah, yeah and guys, and he he um ha he'd just have all these pirate DVDs lined out, um, and he'd just let the kids pick them and be like a fiver each. And I remember my dad would come back with a list of all the DVDs he could pirate and then you'd just tick each one you'd want and you'd just give him like a fiver for each and it was, oh, wow. it, it was just like that was just a common thing because nobody could yeah, be asked yeah. to pay yeah. for they anything they had that in oh. local pub as well so oh really? really? yeah, right. yeah. Per Curse of the Black Pearl 2003 Dead Man's Chest 2006 World's End 2007 2003? yeah I could have sworn it was 2000 or around then but no 2003 wow we're all off huh? Uh, uh, oh, fuck now. 2003, right? You got Matrix, Matrix 2, not great, but nonetheless, Matrix 2, Prisoner of Azkaban, Return of the King, Curse of the Black Pearl. God, we were spoiled. Oh, what, what a year! What a year! What what a year. year. Yeah, That's yeah, exactly. a good year, bro. Yeah. See, the thing is, the Pirates of the Caribbean films, or the first three, the trilogy, the real trilogy, is yeah. special effects up to the yin yang, and clearly someone who knows how to use Swear them. I think that's idea. the problem. Hello, um, how also you doing, a massive bud? mix of practical and special effects, and when we're doing a bit of a chat them. in between. Um, um, a lot of the thing in between is, like, games. So if anyone's got any questions, today you can is ask some questions than if you like. Back then, in a lot of respect, but how but you doing, buddy? Don't know you how okay? To blend it with real old-fashioned cinema techniques that people are still using. I had some so, problem with audio like, earlier, run. so my first half of the stream is uh, got not got me talking Wait, on what? it, which was great, because that was like an hour and a half. Oh, you you mean like the guy, the the, the, the director? Well, so, you know, yeah, so Swag, as soon as you just put hi, I knew something yeah, was up. The CGI I won't prove more you. Real than it is. Which yeah, is and on the screen, if you don't want to talk, but if you want to speak to someone, give me a message, private message if you want it. If you know what I mean, yeah. so like, um, you guys, that, if I you just want to chat, understanding the limitations of CGI, 
because Steven Spielberg back then, when he made Jurassic Park, he knew that it was good, but he also knew when it didn't look good because he knows cinema. Like that dude, by, even by 1993, he, he lived and breathed that shit. So when doing certain scenes, there was decisions made to change times of day to make the CGI look more realistic and better. Because you can tell when it's the night scene, when it's raining, the little goat and num, 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 num. The CGI is next to flawless. Like unless you had a real eye for it, you couldn't call that out. But then during the day scene, when near the end and it's attacking um, them in the facility thing, you know, the big main building, yeah. you can see it. It's still incredible, but you notice it more because it's, oh, lighter, it's like perfectly swag. lit and you can tell the difference. And it's that understanding of like, oh, CGI, sorry, same with Paul Verbinski with the Pirates uh, trilogy. He, he knew limitations and he what, knew what he could push and what If it's he, what he I assume it could be, all you can do is wait to like talk Lucas things who out, man. Pioneered special effects, but then <laughs> got so reliant on it that unfortunately some of the prequel stuff just. But you look after by yourself, now standards and you does take look care of yourself. Bit goofy in parts because he was like, we can just do it all CGI, where it's like sorry, you do dude. need some practical elements to ground certain things. But even but saying yeah, if, that, if you want to talk any more, just and obviously give me a quick this was message, what two thousand and two, I think Clone Wars came out. Always yeah. will. How long ago was that? And the, some of the CGI in it is still next level. Like, and it's again, like even though you can see it, it's that blending of everything, like the sound design, the direction of scenes, like action scenes and stuff like that. It it comes together, and like your brain almost goes like, I know it's CGI, I don't care anymore. Like the the trick is to make people not even realise you were using CGI and never tell anyone. And if you get away with it, you've you've aced it. Like one of the best ones, and I won't say any spoilers because I know Rex and Jade haven't seen it. But Logan, there's a scene where they use uh. CGI for a very big shot, and I didn't know until three years later. And someone went, "Oh shit!" Like is this channel that watch CGI and I they rate it, it and then how they much show your if you could do it better or Facebook worse or whatever and, or um, like the that. internet and stuff. And, they it didn't could be a notice genuine until mistake, halfway through, and these guys didn't bring special effects, and they were astounded. Upset. Like it was one. It's but sometimes you can so misclick, and it'll fill in the ones for you. You never that know. It was so what it was like, and that's mm. that's how CGI should be. You shouldn't. But hopefully, they can sort it, it out, or it should just blend right. into but what you're watching. Summer love. It, your brain just goes, yeah, all right. But you know it's there. You don't. It doesn't make your brain reject it. Yeah. Um. But that again, that's a hard craft, and a lot of people, like younger directors now, taking on like big franchises where CGI yeah, is so I hope prominent. For you too, buddy. They know they can tell probably very good stories, and they know how to direct certain things, but they're not experienced with special effects, so they don't know how to get that kind of convincing blend of those yeah. kind of elements. Just take and care of yourself while they sort things out. That's a kind of disconnect all you can do. over the years of people working with bigger directors as well. Like like I said, like Steven Spielberg, um George Lucas and stuff like that. That's that's their bread and butter. They've been working with that and they've they've grown up with it like as well. They've worked through the industry as it's evolved and change so they've just been constantly at the forefront of changing it. Like e I mean even Steven Spielberg has made some dodgy CGI decisions of late. But it's difficult then, to say, isn't it? Because you never know coming, what's true or what was was seeing things yourself or knowing a bit more about it. Sell those potentially not as convincing shots with mm. more practical stuff. Like I don't know. You know like there's there's some people like tough for instance, situation. I watched June no, Part no, Two sorry, recently. It is a real tough and situation. the special effects in that uh, were fucking spectacular. Like I, yeah. I got quite like the, the, there was a few bits that they pulled off because I, I read the first book and there was a bit in it where I was like, that's exactly how I fucking pictured it, but it's better than how I pictured it. Yeah. And I, I oh, lost my see shit. See you later, see you later, Limp Limp's off. Thank you for coming. See you later, Limp. Thank you, thank you for staying, Limp. We love I you mean, very much. Have a lovely day. I mean, again, we talked between 1997 and 2003 was probably the best era of our generation, Those that group of years for the best films. Because, I mean, I mean, like, you know, I said, what did I say? I said, Return of the King, Matrix Revolution, whichever one the second one is. Uh, 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 what is it? Which one did I say? Prison of Azkaban. Prison of Azkaban. Um, Pirates Caribbean. Kill Bill. X-Men. Oh, yeah. Master and Commander. Bruce Almighty. School of Rock. The Last Samurai. Old Boy. Finding Nemo. Love Actually. 
Like that was a huge year for film. Holy shit! Yeah. And you know yeah, what? Really it's spoiled. Yeah, and like if you look at 1999 and 2001, it's even scarier to think what we think cinema is. When people say this is a good year for cinema, and it's like one film, like back then, you if you put it's say 2003, right? We know Lord of the Rings won everything. There was no space for things. Master and Commander came out now, it would sweep the Oscars. Yeah, if I'm in love. Kill them. Bill, even if Kill Bill 1 came out now, it would probably get a good amount of... It's it a secret well. pleasure, those films. Um, <laughs> the Matrix now, not necessarily 2 and 3 weren't great, I know, but if number 1 came out now, sweep the Oscars. Finding Nemo now, sweep the Oscars. But, like, when you look at the Oscars now, you have one, like, Barbie and Oppenheimer, right? They are both great films. But I'm sorry, I would not put either of them above any of the Lord of the Rings, most of the Harry Potters. I wouldn't put them above most of the the, the original three parts Caribbean, even Master and Commander. Yeah, I think that's what that's like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. When you look at the Oscars now, you don't get one film that is so unbelievably good that it can wipe the Oscars like yeah. Like, like to me, everything, everywhere, all at once, which was last year, it won what, like eight out of the fifteen it was nominated for, and that was considered like world beating. And you sat there, and it's like, Lord of the Rings got like thirty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it's like everything, everywhere, all at once is a fun- is a fantastic film, and I love it. But again, it wouldn't get uh, myself, yeah, like, I would. Yeah, I want to say I'd recommend that if you haven't seen that film, watch that film. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, I need to watch that. It's yeah. crazy. It's absolutely crazy, but it's a wonderful. If I think nothing it's... else, just to see Short Round getting his Oscar. <laughs> yeah. like, but like, if you want to appreciate like... everything and that makes a film, that you know, every bit but of like, it. In my it. point being is, when you look at say say people who are about between the ages of like twenty five and over now, especially our age, 30, 35, 40, if you go through our top, not 50, but maybe 10 to 20 films, I guarantee you at least 15 of those are going to be between 95 and 2005 because that period we were so fucking spoiled for like, yeah. you know, you take out the Harry Potter, the Lord of the Rings, Matrix, Pirates of the Caribbean, just take them out and you've still got Shawshank, Green Mile, Saving Private Ryan, like you've Forrest got all the Disney's. Forrest, Forrest yeah, Trump, yeah. You think, I mean, that was, that was Tom Hanks' prime period. Philadelphia. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Money, the money pit's a bit earlier, but that's just him. Take him out. You still got all the Disney's. Take all the Disney's out. Gladiator. Green. Do you Mark. like? Do you, you like the sixties pick or Rip? Do you? Sixties to 60s, all the way to the two thousands. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my problem is if I go too far back, I become too aware of it's how it's aged. There are a lot of sixties yeah, and fifties films which are like Gone with the Wind. Uh, things like that, like mm-hmm. phenomenal in terms of cinema. But when I'm watching them, I'm like, God, it's like it it's just so aged. dated. Like so, a lot of them, yeah, get, they don't struggle. age very well. But it's the it's a difference between not aging very well, but the impact they had on cinema. At, at, like, yeah, exactly. Like look at Jaws. I mean, that's still now. in a lot of people. No, I'm saying it's in a lot of people's <laughs> favourites, but it's not aged okay. well, let's be honest. You shut your whore mouth. That film has aged like a fine cheese one. You yeah, you're biased because it's one of your top, top, tops. Yeah, but that's because it is uh, the, the, the perfect film. There is there is not a single flaw I mean, in it. Like, like, like to Kill a Mockingbird, incredible. Once upon, once upon a Time in the West, Longest Day, Dr. Shivago, Fistful of Dollars, Italian Job, Great Escape, Psycho. Good, bad, and the ugly. That's just a few of them. <laughs> Name like, one bad Tom and movies, the yeah. Tiffany's, My Fair Lady. You know, it's like, yeah, they are incredible, but I can't compare them to films from twenty, from twenty, like from now, from like two thousand onwards. I can't compare them in the yeah. same way. It, it's a completely different style of filmmaking back then, in most <clears throat> instances, and it, it, yeah, they, they, they don't compare because I feel like cinema changed so. It'd be unfair to them to rate them in the same category. Yeah, it's and cool. a lot of like their. Like, they are great because of what they've done for cinema, but I do agree, like, sometimes you go back and watch some of the old... There's a few that still work, but, like, acting style, directing style, a lot of things are very different that we just didn't grow up with, so that's not how we view movies. So some of them can be a bit of a a chore to watch in some respect. I mean, so 60s for me are a little bit... I I like a lot of them, but they're not the sort of films I would pick if I was going to say I want to watch, like, a great movie. But then 70s... 
Apocalypse Now, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Taxi Driver, mm. uh, Clockwork Orange, Close Encounters of the Third Planet, which is one of my tops. I adore that film. Yeah, that's a great uh, film. Exorcist, Deliverance. Obviously, we've got Star Wars. Carrie, Omen. Uh, what else is it? Halloween, Chinatown, Alien, Texas Chainsaw, the original Willy Wonka, Rocky, uh, yeah. Jaws, Mad Max, Patton, Westworld. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 70s were huge. Pickle Rick's going in the bath. Explosion of like a new style of cinema that. I mean, Alien and Star Wars, all that yeah. sort of stuff coming in. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, th that sort of film was like when people started experimenting with the genres and how brutal you could be to tell a story like the acting kind of changed up a bit it wasn't it just got darker essentially because horror yeah. became mainstream yeah very very dark but very creative i feel like they, they were pushing like the box a bit or the envelope whatever the fuck i do love when people I'm first a... became creative with these uh, things like horror it's my favorite i mean like yeah when you talk about disney a lot i mean disney let's see i never put disney when people talk about their favorite films i don't bring disney in i kind of see that as its own category of what's your favorite disney because the thing is it's like just the 70s like things like uh aristocat uh, cra -ha hats aristocats <laughs> pete 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 dragon uh robin hood the rescuers <laughs> Bed knobs and broomsticks. Yeah, shut up. It, I, I, I struggled to say it when I was a kid. It was now it messes great. with me. I was doing the same thing in my head, Jennifer. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, and then you had all the Monty Pythons came about in the 70s as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Blazing right. Saddles. I mean, Blazing Saddles. That is a film I can watch every single day and I would never get bored. Yeah. Yeah. That exactly. is one of the few from that period that I think a lot of them I could like once a year kind of films, like the original Herbie films. Like I don't love them, but like they are classics, and it's like yeah. I couldn't watch them frequently. But like Blades and Saddles, it's a fucking masterpiece. There's, there's no other way to describe it. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah, it's pure genius. What year was the Great Escape? Was that sixties? Sixties, yeah, yeah. I think it's sixty four, maybe sixty five. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Colin Hart. Yeah, Battle Brit Battle of Britain. Uh, my dad's favorite film. Yeah. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, they use the actual planes. Yeah, yeah. Because they use yeah. the actual planes. I mean, out. yeah. Even today, like you, obviously there there was limitations to how they could direct certain scenes. But when you think about when it was made and what they were showing, it's absolutely <laughs> astounding. Yeah. And what they were showing as well, like it's a quite a long film, and they were showing like a very wide view of uh, the RAF at that time and like the people that were involved in it from like. Um, not just like the the pilots but the women that were working in the um what's it called where they push all the bits of wood around on the table i can't remember yeah um, I mean. but they had them working yes. there and in the 60s you're showing like a bunch of lasses control being like room. integral yeah the what room control room control, control room thank room. you yeah, yeah. The, the war table or whatever they call it then uh, they were playing yeah. so chess. you had like they had you had lasses doing that so it's the 60s and they're showing women in like prominent roles so that's awesome yeah. And then you also were showing like, the, the, the polls being involved. Like, there was a bit of, like, jokes every now and again at their expense, but nothing, like, I didn't think it was anything. Ahead of its time bad. in terms of cinema. Yeah. That's what I, yeah, like, they were genuinely showing, like, a true, like, representation of the RF at that time, rather than just being like, it's just the, the true British lads fighting the good fight. Yeah. Like, everyone, everyone was involved in that, and they showed that, I mean, and that's insane to think about in the I 60s. quite... Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not one for watching a lot of like wartime films. I mean, I I I'm, I adore Bismarck. That's my favorite. You know what? Like, I post. Oh, Biz Bismarck and Midway being the two. Bismarck. Same again, Private Ryan, of course. Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm talking like specifically that re that period. I mean, Bismarck must. Oh. Have, this Bismarck was the fifties, like, and I adore that film. Like they talked about remastering it and cut on. Oh, fuck off! Don't want that. No one wants that. Like, <laughs> yeah. Basically. Every era has its phenomenal... Like, the 80s, for me, are a weaker period in film. There was not as much outside of Star Wars and the Aliens that was, uh, like, mm. a glance. Full Metal Jacket, Stand By Me, Dead Poets. Dead Poets Society, incredible. Shining, incredible. Glory. Now, Glory is a phenomenal film, Hidden Away. Princess Bride, Br Breakfast Club. Yeah. Uh, Airplane, mm. Top Gun, Terminator, oh, The yeah. Thing... Oh, uh, Terminator, yeah, cool. Fucking hell. And the thing, Jesus Christ, yeah. Blade so then, Runner. There, there's definitely, God, again, yeah. you can see the shift in yeah, yeah. focus like Blade, and like. Blade Runner and Back to the Future came out within a month of each other. Raiders of the Lost Ark, 
came out. Then you had Aliens, Poltergeist, Robocop, Little Shop of Horrors, Gremlins. Like, every period. And even fucking, yeah, Footloose, Ghostbusters, uh, everything had. Like, Labyrinth. You, it, you could see it start to grow, not even sci-fi, but just away from classic cinema. And it grows and grows and grows. And that's why the 90s was... The late 90s was so balanced and well fit for like going into the pure sci-fi of like the Harry Potter's, the Lord of the Rings, because it, you can see it growing. Yeah. The Indiana Joneses and the aliens in the late 80s being popular. But there, since about, two, especially 2010, like, you know, when Disney starts making utter trash and it starts losing the charm of what made Disney, yeah. the whole cinema, cinema in general is dying at that point because... The number of things that you would put in your top 50 from post-2010 would be a handful. Oh, God, and yeah. If you tried to pick a top 10 from between 95 and 2005, you, it would kill you. You wouldn't be able to do it. No, no it'd be too Whereas difficult. if you did a top 10 from 2010 to now, you'd be struggling to find 10. Everything's a remake or a redo or uninspired. And people keep saying it's because I'm obsessed with nostalgia. And it's like, yes, I am to an extent, but I do think that... Maybe because it was better. The, the quality of films in the last 10 to 15 it's years... It's harder. Yeah, yeah. What? But okay. Bluff and you said that the quality of films from the last fifteen years don't touch the quality of film from the nineties and early two thousands and even the late eighties. It just it's a different type of film. And the fact that everything is CGI, like again, we talk about Rogue One and Andor, regardless of the fact they're Star Wars, it was all practical, with CGI being the last thought, not the primary focus. And that's yeah. the difference, I think. Like Disney is different. I think they've just gone in a direction away from loving fantasy to just trying to make things that are going to be popular and it's a different feeling but yeah i i feel like with with disney and like marvel specifically there is like they, they know what's going to make money and they're leaning they, into they it know what's going to make money there, there there is like the few in there that you're like you can tell there was passion and love behind it as well as like this is clearly going to make us lots of money and that's that's the perfect mix i guess for cinema if you want um, and there's plenty of stuff that I do still like, but yeah, I think that a bit. The thing is, you, what you got to remember as well is something that I think a lot, not a lot of people think about is you are. And I'm not saying you're not wrong with um, the 2000s or what 90s, whatever. Um, but you got to remember back then, a lot of shit also came out but you're remembering yeah. the best parts. And that's the thing, like, now we're in this period where we're judging everything that comes out and we're looking at it, but in, like, 20 years, we might be looking back and we're only going to remember the greatest ones that came out. There's probably going to be fewer of them, <clears throat> granted, but it's one of those things where no, you're only remembering the, the, the best I, ones that I, came I, out, you know? I agree, because, like, 2003, the film Big Daddy came out with Adam Sandler, and that was ad absolute fucking... Uh, Rex, gutter, uh, gutter Rex did you say you were um, going to reset some of the settings for the game? I've done it. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to get ready to do another. But okay. yeah, no. There was. Uh, there was <laughs> Are you no, laughing there was, over there? there was My brain there. just literally done a replay of the entire film. I was like, yeah, no, no. right. <laughs> I, I despise Adam Sandler. There's not a single film of his I'll watch. The only one I ever found funny in parts was Zo 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 Don't Mess With Zo Zo Zohan? Zotan? What his name was? Whatever that was. Yeah, Don't Mess and that's With more, Zohan. And that's more because John Turturro's in it, and I find him fucking hilarious. Um... But no, there was a lot of utter shit. But my, again, like I said, I'm comparing it to the Oscars. You go to the Oscars, this recent one, you remove Oppenheimer and Barbie, and what was left was some very, very average stuff. Like, you had a couple things. I can't remember what the film is. The one with Emma Stone, uh, which, the, like, The Anatomy of the Fall, and a couple of those. But they, they're going to be very B-tier. They're not going to be remembered that much unless you're a hardcore fan. But if you take out Oppenheimer and Barbie, you're left with not much that's really going to make headlines. But in no. 2003, you take out Lord of the Rings from those Oscars and you've still got about 10 films that could sweep the Oscars. That's my point. There was a lot of shit, but the, the, the percentage of quality to shit was definitely more balanced in terms of there was a lot more quality yeah. stuff. Whereas I, now, I feel like it's very much 50-50. There's, there's still a lot of good stuff, but there is a lot less in terms of just do you know pure original quality. What I think a part of it is as well, and it's not the main problem, but I think it's also like saturation. There's way more films being made now. Yes, that also um, is. So yeah. that, that dilutes what uh, people are seeing as well. Like, for instance, there's this film I watched recently called uh, The Snow Society. Never heard of it. 
Um, I knew the director, but I'd only seen one other film he'd made, which was The Impossible with Ewan McGregor and uh, Naomi Watts about the tidal wave in Thailand, I think it was. Yes, yes, I've heard of it. Um, yeah, so I never heard of that fucking film. It apparently won a lots of other awards. It got nominated for a foreign uh, film Oscar, but I don't think it won it. I have no idea what it lost it to. But I watched that the other day. I've never been on the edge of my seat in so fucking long in my life i think i cried for about 10 minutes afterwards it's the most harrowing thing i've ever watched but not only that and this is the thing with like that sort of film will never get much publicity but because it's it's about just realized i didn't say what the film's about the film's about the um the rugby team that crashed in the andes and they yes. ended up having to eat the body yeah 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 yeah, yeah, um, yeah absolutely fucking horrific like and the, sunday viewing yeah exactly delicious yeah, yeah. I, I just I, I, had, I sat my son down i was like watch this lad you'll love it um but it was um the difference between it being a oh this is quite a grim film very cool it was the attention to detail to the the people that died and like honoring those people which i found quite odd at first because a lot of films don't do that when they're doing something about like event. disaster movies that are yeah. a real event they very rarely show much respect for the people that have died and they spent a lot of time making sure you knew this person's name that died and there's yeah. a really big yeah. part of that film about if they didn't die and give up like say that because a lot of them when they die it's like if i die you have permission to eat me basically because i know it's the only way you're going to survive and they yeah. all ended up saying that and it was fucking harrowing and there's this one bit and it fucking it i genuinely destroyed me like i i i asked my wife to pause it for a second and i just i genuinely need a minute basically this one guy is like the last person that is refusing to eat human flesh and there's a bit where he finally just relents and he's like all right and he takes this tiny little morsel and he's in a plane filled with people and he just chews it and as he's chewing he just becomes so ashamed of himself because they're all very religious people and it's like they're trying to reason that it's a sin or it isn't a sin because it's you know surviving sort of thing and he just has to like he hides his face even though no one's actually looking at him and he just breaks down and cries and it fucking destroyed me and i was watching this I was like this is one of the greatest films i've seen in like about 10 years like, that reminds it me of that religious incredible. practice where they they eat uh forgive me but in case i'm offensive but there's i know there's a religious practice where you eat a bird i believe and you put a you put a cloth over your head because it's so shameful to eat mm -hmm. this i oh, think it's right. a bird yeah. so it might have been reference to that um i but... think maybe yeah yeah um because it, it, it was a very like pivotal moment of him like what he perceived as breaking his faith to survive whereas everyone else had rationalized it as in yeah no, no. god wants us to live sort of thing and that's why and it was weird because again like we were talking about midnight math is another thing very religious based in terms of their characters um i'm not a massive fan of any kind of organized religion but i it for a film to make me like give a crap about their belief system that much very quickly like it's quite hard to do i think for i mean at least for me just because mm -hmm. i do find like organization quite goofy in a lot of ways <laughs> not to be offensive to anyone but the fact that like i 100 percent was like invested in how much that was affecting them because the acting I mean, was it's, it's just like midnight mass isn't it he, he could end up being religious from that guy he was that, so that's the good thing. That, without that, that, preaching it's not that preaching he was teaching he was saying this is how i interpret it and this is what i believe to be correct and i at no point like even when he was getting worked up and very very passionate i never felt like he was preaching like even when he was saying some what was borderline well maybe not borderline it was very intense fucking shit and i'm still mm -hmm. sitting there going like I, I believe you and i think that's the trick is like yeah. Do you believe it? Because a lot of times I've been to church a few times. I've heard people talk. I've never believed a, a word that these people are saying. I just assume they're liars. <laughs> um, but this dude, I was just like, Woo! I mean, I know it's acting, but I'm sitting there. Going, like, I believe that you believe this <laughs> and I understand. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's weird. Yeah. Very, very strange. I understand your faith. 
Uh, that, la- that last yeah. bit, that's Midnight Midnight Mass. It's on Netflix, made by Mike Flanagan. He's a genius. I recommend Midnight Mass to anybody. And give a, give a watch of everything of his. Yeah, yeah, like I've not found something I don't like. Even the thing I like least of what he's done, I still actually really liked it because I appreciated yeah. the story he weaved. I didn't find it as interesting as his other stuff, um, Bly Manor, but I... Oh, I yeah, that was one, that one is... Blind Manor is it, well. Midnight Club is the weakest, but only because it's it's a very different style. But yeah, Blind Manor is is the weaker one of the ones you've seen, but and still, yet it's still still is fucking great. Yeah, it's a very very grounded, very heartfelt, and very passionate. Like essentially, kind of a romance. Um, oh my god! Wow. Well. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah. We do- ah, hell by my face! Hell by my face! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not ready, I need to warm up again. Oh my goodness. Did you notice that the settings have been changed? Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. Oh no, we brought, up, we brought up the Lord. This is all your fault, Bluffin! Bless for me! I'm, uh, I'm blurry-eyed? Did yes. You add blur vision to when Sometimes you're that out? happens, and I don't no. know why. I've never had that before in this game. I've had it a couple times, actually. I do think this is the most fun game mode. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh! The backflip yeah. kicked me. All four of the sport ones with a ball that uh, I find so fun. This is the most fun because when you kick it and it hits someone, it demolishes them. You see that unicorn on the side? I was too busy looking at the Godzilla, weirdly. Yeah, I can't wait to be a dinosaur. Pew! Well. <laughs> well. Chucky wins! Chucky wins! Chucky wins! I didn't play this off. At all. Yeah. I li- Dude, what's worse is I was. <laughs> <laughs> you knocked me out at the beginning. What was I meant to do? You took too long a break, man, and that's what happens. Oh, man. We, we were talking about some things that we find interesting. Uh, I didn't say I didn't find it interesting. I just oh, said I'm better at this game than you. If you could just be more supportive, that would be great. Oh, oh sucky off. Oh, nice. Nice. Bloody hell. What? Lily summed this up perfectly. I love this game because if you're violent, it's cute because they're animals. It's perfect. Mm. That's all you need to know about this game. Yeah, very much. Oh, what damn! Is what is happening, man? <laughs> <laughs> ah! uh, I, I don't know why, because all I My do fluffy ta- Oh, Elmo! All it is, right, is it increases your health and stamina, but why do you hit them? <laughs> I don't know, it's great. Get wrecked! Get erect! Oh, oh, no. What? oh no! Oh no! Bluffy, oh, get down! Bluffy, get I'm down, right bro! Right bro! Oh, <laughs> oh my oh, god. god! What the hell is happening? It changes it so drastically! Yes, I, I, it's literally we have more stamina and health. I don't know why the puck just takes that person. Lily, Maybe yes, the, you the can. If you've knocked like someone out, you can chuck them, and it's fantastic. The only thing I can oh! think, oh my god, it is Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish that the people in the Godzilla film responded to Godzilla like that. Oh my god, it is Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, someone he was right. At one point. There's enough movies, right? <laughs> I don't know how many movies there are. I'm trying. It's hard work. Bluffin is all. <laughs> Bluffin's always scoring, my man. Yeah. Oh. Helping. Uh, yes, Elbow. Yes. Yes. Yes, Elbow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing my best. I blocked it already for like three goals. Yeah, you were doing great. I didn't have Bluffin, I mean, Bluffin, you were a pretty princess on the top. I did feel very pretty. Oh! No. No. Sorry, I got one of theirs. One of and theirs? Defender. We have names. Ah! Yeah, I couldn't read which one it was. My cat! My cat! Oh! <laughs> I, 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 oh! Stop! I immediately, for some reason, thought, 
fuck you, Eugene, because I'm so used to Eugene doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene, oh, plays, oh. Eugene plays part of his fair and square for about an hour, and then he just starts taking everything personally and goes for Like me. Oh. He only wants me out. Ooh. Oh my god. No! 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 Oh! 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 I got tossed myself! I got tossed off! Fine. Easy! What <laughs> <laughs> oh, brutal game. I need that penguin right there, I want the rock popper. Yeah, we yeah. need the penguins! Add the penguins, goddammit! Oh, that was a good shot. Proud of myself. Go for it, brother. I'm gonna grab the shoot. Whoa! Oh, oh yes, yeah. boy! <laughs> oh my god! It knocked me you wiped us both out, man! Rex, they're fighting dirty! They're fighting dirty! Oh, Why? Sorry. It's okay! I love you! Get the fuck off me! Go the fuck! Oh god, what the fucking hell was that? You wanna take us outside? You wanna take us outside? Just, just watch what I'll eat you! Here. Just watch Elmo here. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Elmo, man. <laughs> Casualty of war. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's going round like a ragdoll. <laughs> Frank, can you get that down for me? Oh, yeah. Wait, why am I pushing it so slow? Hit it! Hit it! <laughs> Nothing, I didn't help! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at my little fluffy ass! <laughs> you can do it, oh Elmo! My god. Oh my god! Come on, then! Come on, then! <laughs> 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 fluffy, how are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> That was so pathetic. <laughs> Why does Barney the Dinosaur stood there as well? Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Jay, that was like a free goal you missed. Eat my dick. Elmo did a starfish in the air. Oh! My fucking anus roll. Whoa, whoa, mummy. What is happening to us, Elmo? That shit was fuck all. Ow. <laughs> the shit juice was in the air. Ah, stop hitting me, Bluffin! Damn it! For fuck's sake! I'm trying. I'm on my own here against the pair of them. Bluffins a Viking. That's where I'm a Viking. That's where I'm a Viking. Shut up, Robin Hood. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, Elmo! I'm sorry if I hit you. I ain't getting up. Fuck you! I ain't getting up. I'll pick you up. Get in goal. Sorry, Elmo. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see me hit the side? Oh my god. Watch me go. Are you ready? Oh my god. The oh. Is in the chat. <laughs> I dropped the shield because I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, we're not going to school that. The MBV. The go! Ah! We've got like 10 seconds. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, so close. Come on, come on, come on. Stop doing this! Oh. 
post hits in like four seconds. Come on, Elmo! No. Sorry, Elmo! They cheated. They cheated. They cheated. It's unequivocal. I mean, Bluffin, you weren't there for the first two goals. I mean, I think we basically won it. I mean... You're I coming with me! Yeah, that was me! You're coming with me! I am the Predator! All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be in the Ow. back. <laughs> Saving that rude. one, definitely. <laughs> rude, rude much. Rude. Oh my. Rude. Oh, I got an achievement. Be the only person not knocked out at the photo podium. <laughs> really? That's an achievement. Doesn't that tell you something? That after 50 hours, I've only just got that. <laughs> wow, that's. Are you uh... still here? Because I see you being what's it in the Discord with, uh, you know, chatting everyone up. You know. Well, that so... was my last round. No, it wasn't. I've decided. Well. <laughs> All right. Next, <laughs> next game. Next game. Mm, I coffee. said next game. Oh, okay. Are you going on? Yeah. Oh. It's uh, past midnight. So. Thank you for staying, Elmo. I'm sorry yeah. about. Well, it's past uh, midnight for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry if it took long in between games. Thank you for staying. Oh, no problem. We love you very much, uh, Elm. Bluff told us to remind him of Pierce Brosnan for some reason. I don't know. What's his story? Oh, that's because Bluffin is Pierce Brosnan. Him. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's his... He, Bluff, Bluff, Bluffin is his alter ego. He actually is Pierce Bluff, Brosnan. Bluff. Then, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's gone to pee now, so that's... Uh, he has again. not been Yeah, stopping. I know. It's ridiculous, isn't it? I know. Should we all just gang up on him with like four players? And he's gone. No, no. That, Come on, it's his birthday bad. tomorrow. Uh, Come no. on, uh, it's his birthday tomorrow. Stop. Bluffin. Suka Elmo's going, and he said about Piers Brosnan. Oh. Yep. Yes. I just wanted to remind you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah. So I watched a film. Uh, Bye. 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 Thank, Bye. You Thank, you. Me. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for turning up, you beautiful bastard. We love you very much. I'd kiss that man if I could. I would touch his toes. All right. Don't be weird. Um. So I watched Dante's Peak the other day. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, big volcano next to an American town, and it explodes. Um. But he's in it, and he's kind of playing James Bond a l very minor bit for like 2% of that film. You feel Bond come out. But otherwise, he's just, you know, he's playing a character. It's nothing great, but it's he's just kind of just charming, you know? Very, very fucking charming man. And then I was um, I reminded of something. Oh, I... So I, I was reminded of something uh, recently where he was in an interview and some really rude, um, uh, what's it called? Not paparazzi, like an interviewer brought up something about his wife. Who oh. had been married to him for a while. Yeah, yeah. So she, she's over the years gained quite a bit of weight. Um, she's had something like two, three children or something like that. I remember and, um, this, yeah. Yeah, and you know the guy was kind of being a bit rude or whatever, and he just came back with like the sweetest fucking reply ever, and he was like uh, something along the lines of, like uh, every day, like I I love her more. She's more beautiful to me every single fucking day, and um, uh, I'm just grateful that I I get to be her around her like all the time. Like she's such an inspiration, and I was just like, what well, fucking? Because he could have been an absolute. You know, he could have unloaded on that dude if he wanted, but he was just so like, I'm just going to say something nice about my wife who I fucking love. And he just seems like a very like chilled, like down to earth dude. Like, I don't know much else about him, but I saw an interview with him. He'd done a superhero film not too long ago, and he was probably like the only good thing in that fucking film, to be fair. And he meets this guy. The interviewer is a guy from his hometown which yeah. presumably he's not been back to in a while. Mm. And he gets really choked up and really, like, excited to talk about it. Uh, but you can just see, like, this... I don't know, this... Like, it's almost like a different person kind of comes out. He's, like, he's got his interview persona, and then this dude, like, cracked him. And he was just... All of a sudden, like, you could hear his accent almost change a little bit. Like, it went a little bit more Irish. Um, 
I don't know, it's just something about it. It's just like, it just seems like some What a lovely way to there. talk I, about I, I your remember. partner, you know? Uh, what's your excuse, Rex? <sighs> No, I, so, yeah, I've seen that, I've seen bits of that interview, essentially the guy's like, yeah, I'm from here, and it's like, they would have lived like 10 minutes away from each other or something. Yeah. And, he's, yeah. and like, so don't forget, he's, he's Irish. Yeah. He's, oh, he's yeah. Not, yeah. It's um, in the blood. His middle name's Brendan, which is very typical, you know, and it's like yeah. Scottish or Irish, and it's like, yeah, he's Irish Catholic. But yeah, he's yeah. he's been with his wife. Twenty. I don't even remember how long since two thousand one. Kind of, yeah, and the before how that he was with uh, another wife, but she died of ovarian cancer, and yeah, two nineteen ninety one. Yes. Yeah, yes. which again is like, and he mentions that in the thing when he's talking about his wife. He's like, you know, we've all been through hardship um, of varying degrees. Like it, you know, life life can be fucking brutal on you. Um, but you know, I love her every single oh, day. Oh, fucking hell! Right, and so sorry, his, that his first wife. This is horrible. That's right? so lovely. Oh my god. Okay, so. Uh, oh, hold on. This is confusing. <coughs> Excuse you guys. Sorry. Huh? Okay. Pardon me. She was married to before Pierce Morgan. Married to Dermot Harris, who is the brother of Richard Harris. Uh, weirdly, before she married Brosnan, but so she died. How old was she? I can't even see the info here. I miss Where Elmo. You guys suck. I know. She died. At, <laughs> she died at forty-three. Oh man. Oh, her mother, that's young. Her mother died of the same thing. Her daughter Jesus. died of the same thing. Fuck off. Oh, Three no. Three generations of women dying from the same cancer. And she apparently it's rumoured her great-grandmother had it but it, and died of it, but it wasn't uh, listed. And not confirmed <laughs> at the time. Oh, um, Jesus. Fuck, man. That's brutal. Yeah, yeah but Piers Brosnan is... Uh, he's going to be 71 in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I googled a picture 71. of him as well. It, and I think it was about last year. He looks the fucking interviews. same. He does, but fucking distinguished. Like he has yeah, aged. He's got the George Clooney. Yeah, he's aged in such. So like there's a picture. Cool. I'll try and find it. Put it in the Discord later. Where basically, I, I I think it was for the film he's doing. He's doing a. It was called Black Adam, and he plays like this kind of sorceress. Sorceress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And he's got this like goatee. And I was looking at it, I was like, if that was on any other person, they'd look like a fucking idiot. But he pulls it off, and he played that character. I, I know nothing about that character, but the way he played it, I believed every every word he was saying. I was absolutely engrossed in it. Unfortunately, the rest of the film was kind of trash. But he was, like, really fucking good. Um, and it was kind of just fun seeing him play, like, a goofy kind of superhero character, whereas normally... He's either Bond or some kind of like hero or whatever and stuff like that. And it kind of made me just, I, I instantly got nostalgic and I was like, oh, I kind of want to go back and just watch like all his old James Bonds. Because even the bad ones, he's still kind of good in them. But in Goldeneye, he is just fucking. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, so the daughter who died was, it was the one he adopted when he married. He adopted that daughter when he married her. Right. So he lost his wife and adopted daughter within five years of each other. Mm. Um, Brutal. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, he's a Buddhist. There you go. Oh, he's going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Tomorrow Never Dies is the one I remember. I, do you know what? Tomorrow Never Dies gets a lot of flack. I actually think it's a really solid Bond movie. Tomorrow Never Dies, Die Another Day. Those are the two that I grew up and remember very well. Yeah. I remember Goldeneye very distinctly, very fondly. Um, Tomorrow Never Dies. I loved when I was a kid. I fell out of it a bit. I want to play to older. Kenya. Oh, wow. And then, what? Watched Golden Eye on a Plane to Kenya. You can't just say something like that and then. Elmo Good does it. Yeah, tomorrow it'll be like, God, my brother, he hates being king. But you know what? And it's just, he just, Elmo just does this. Yeah, he was also in, um, he was in Ghostwriter, which is a really good film. Actually, fantastic in. He was great in the Mamma Mia films, whether you like the films or not. He was brilliant in those. I don't yeah, ever watch those. No, they're not, they're painful to watch, but he sings in it. It's actually really good. Um, oh, I can't use it all. Yeah. I don't no, like him just to hear him I, sing, to be fair. I like him. He's great. And he's, I've never heard a bad word against him. Stop! No, me neither. Spam in the chat in game. Right. We're going to do that again, except Bluffin's got an AI. Why do I get the AI? Because you're the birthday you're boy! The birthday. <laughs> 
that doesn't make any sense. You know what? When you you left, get treated you know, like shit until midnight. We were, you went quiet, and I was like, he's probably peeing again. And we went again. <laughs> <laughs> you never stop urinating! What is wrong with you? I am I'm drinking the cider, to be fair. I've had well. one glass of water and there's not a trickle of pee! Yeah, I've, I've been, had, but I had a pee since about four, so... I've had two ciders... Well... I've <laughs> two ciders and two uh, rum and cokes, I'm gonna be peeing. But you pee anyway without the drink. No, yeah, if you yeah, notice, on my stream, when I done Callisto, I wasn't drinking, I didn't piss once. Did you piss it into a bottle under the no desk? Oh. Holy <laughs> shit! Fuck. You're right, you're right, I like that shit. Whoa, I was... Ah! Oh, I never mm, nice one. Nothing, that was a good shot. It wasn't me. Lily says your piss count is four. Is that right? Four pisses? Yeah. Were they whole pisses that, or that little it? pisses? They were pretty big pisses, to be fair. Like, a lot of pee pee came out. You're going to have to prove it next time. So I'll take, take my phone in with me. And... Please. All I want to do is watch. This is <laughs> For God's That's sake. Really. Oh, my penis. <laughs> that made every genital of mine yeah, retract. Yeah, when we were doing it like that time when we had like 10 people here, and I did the R R, R and even Eugene went, oh. <laughs> 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 We're blurry! That's the first time I got the blurry. What the fuck? I can't yeah, get it's weird, right? yeah, I've had it a few times. I don't know how you guys haven't yeah, had it yet. It just means you're really fucked. <laughs> I yeah. think it does. I think it means you got brain damage. Oh, AI! Come on. Sometimes Rex makes me forget I'm heterosexual. I'm gonna be honest. You're not. You're not. Man, I'm 100%. 100%. You're 100% unsure. <laughs> yeah, really. No one's straight. I'm as straight as a boomerang, boy. <laughs> Never been to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> the first time you've heard Rex Ooh Woo, I know that he, he was waiting for you to come back so he could do it. Yeah, it was especially for Lily, because, you know. Whoa! Did you penis punt that? Watch, watch the replay. Did you say penis punt? Let me drop the shield in preparation to jump. Yeah, but what? He used his dick. <laughs> Bluffin, he looks like a whole dick. What part of him? <laughs> I actually had to try and fumble the buttons to drop the shield in it. That was very impressive. Go, Wiener, go! Are you don't. Ah! <laughs> I'm just passed out all the time. Oh I'm, I'm really sorry your AI is getting my messed AI up. My AI is getting absolutely fucking demolished. Watch him die right now, are you ready? Pork chops. Bacon. He tried so hard as well. <laughs> yeah, he he did! He's tried so hard. He got so far. He ate shit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is not fair, what, man. Playing, <laughs> I didn't even bother trying. Once I saw that hit, I was like, nah. Rex, let's just stand here, out the way of the gold, and see what the AI does. Yeah, wait, everyone just stand still. I was. Let's go over here. Right. Ah! Whoa! He actually made a good shot! Missed. Go on, AI! Go on, AI! Go on! Yeah. He's figuring it out! Stop laughing at him! He's embarrassed! Ah! There you go! He, he did it! He did it! <laughs> Can we do that a few more times, please? Yeah, of course you can. 100% heterosexual said with all the tone conviction of Joy Lissette in the... Joe Lissette. Joe Lissette, he's an upcoming... He's been on Mock the Week a few times. He's quite funny. He's a very, very camp gay comedian. Oh, right. Okay. Jay, no, just let him do it. Let the AI play. Let the AI play. He's but they might awesome. win. No, they won't. Oh, I'm, I'm actually hindering him. I was trying to get on top again. Wait, wait, I wanna wait, get I'm on top. 
Joe Lysette's just basically the most camp. I want to get on top. I want to get on top. Stop! The AI is playing. I'm playing with the AI now. You leave him alone. <sighs> leave him alone. Oh my goodness. Here, Rex, you drop this. <laughs> You dirty little... I don't even know what to oh. call you anymore. Go on, finish it. You, you, you... How did that work? Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Bet. <laughs> you guys get over there. Oh, I should have probably been playing. <laughs> so right, put the crying off. emoji. Oh, The adverts on your stream are killing me, Bluff! They're killing me! Sorry. Mm -hmm. They're killing me! Nice picture, everybody. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> Get out of it, AI! <laughs> Even though you won... Oh, he All ruined it! He ruined it! It would have been like a recreation of my thumbnail. Ruined it! <laughs> Oh, penis. Penisimo. <clears throat> right, one more time on that. That was Pinocchio's um... first name. He's currently responsible for seeding fake news stories into the press to see which outlets, outlets are colourful enough. Them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, he, he is very... I do think he's quite funny. Like, he's got that charming camp way about him. The first time I ever saw him live, I didn't see him live, live on TV, he came out and he was like, no, I'm not gay, I'm bi, so you're all at risk. And it was just like, it actually was quite funny. Yeah, like, he, he plays oh, into look it, at that like, owl. it's not what his entire personality is about, so it's mm. quite funny. Yeah, oh, owl is, well, he's, he's you know more what? a boy, Alice. Yeah, I not really like it. Like, oh, yeah, you've seen it on a show also at some point. Oh. That's lame. Oh, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> I mean, it took three out. It's not really fair. That's a bit... A bit shit, isn't it? The, the, the blue crocodile looks like Toto Dog, dude. He does! Uh, oh, oh, no! Ow. Holy shit! Ow! Fuck! <laughs> I want that blue owl. I want to get eight members on here doing this game over these settings. Yeah. Yeah, we'll need to plan this like a month ahead just to make sure everyone's actually available. Nah, this is not going Wow. If you're watching and you want to be a member and play this game with us, please become a member, tier two. We need and, friends! Uh, yeah, you, you need to get knocked You pay yeah, Bluffin to be our friend! <laughs> yeah. It's not even to be my friend, it's just to be... Your friend. <laughs> I need friends. My therapist said so. Yeah, mine too. I don't have a therapist. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not allowed. Man. <laughs> You've hurt too many. I can't. No, no. Literally, being male and not hurting myself means I'm not equal. So. Yeah. Whoa. Well, I mean, come on, man. Step yeah, up. No, I step started, up your I game started, a bit. I started, you know, slicing away. Right, let's see. That's some delicious so cuts of meat. It's just a... Wow. The whole team went in. <laughs> the... That was brutal. That cat came... It's like, not that fair. That cat on our team, it walked back towards me, and you know what? I think it was going to start. It was going to start. <laughs> look, you know? You felt the hairs on the back of your neck go up. Get out of the way of this fucking thing. Okay, this is not fair. Could it be because Nothing. I have every single AI player? No! You have, two AI, you have three AI, it's no, you know. It just so happens to be that our AI are moving in unison and you're also just fucking doing whatever they want. Mine this are isn't fair. Friends. I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> oh my god, they all just. Can I also just add, I've been going the entire game. So it's kind of scary shit, you know? Ah, don't come for me! <laughs> What oh. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, oh, no. No. What happened? Wait a minute, physics? What the fuck? I think it was me. That was too... too accurate. I'm sorry, fellas. I'm gonna attack this time. Oh my god! And the bodies hit the floor! Nice one, Bluff. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Scramble! <laughs> I scored with my own body. I'm so proud of you, son. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, they got one. Oh, I oh, think me. that was me. Oh no, was it me? Oh, definitely me. But you can tell by my participation. It was me. Fuck's sake! Oh god, I deserve to be executed at first light. Awesome. Wait, what? That's not where that belongs! It's a picture of Godzilla setting fire to the Twin Towers. It just says terrorists? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I mean, if it's a wallpaper, it's a wallpaper thing. I mean, that's not really bad at all, but. Mm. We'll see how it flows. No, I'm going to tell him to put it in NSFW. <laughs> I want the wallpapers. I want some of the channels to actually be about things, you know? I know, I've, no, I've committed to putting a one paper, uh, wallpaper a day now. That's too much work. It's just like seeing. I want like 10 of these just to see the fucking car. I want to see them fly <laughs> off the map. That's what I want. Well. Ow! Well. I'm dead! Well... I can't remember which gold is ours! Ah! Holy I shit. Like I'm, st it? I'm stuck on another cat and I can't get off! I am confusion. No more AI for Bluff. It's not fair. He's had enough trolling for one night. Yeah. Poor old well, Bluff Bluff. Nobody's watching, who cares? Wow, my god. That's oh my god. Oh KILL! My KILL! Oh my god, god this is so true. KILL! <laughs> it's me, look! <laughs> oh, you little shit! You got to the front! <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> oh god. Uh, do you want to call it there? Um. Yeah, no one's here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It, you, it, don't it, you don't want to go to midnight. You don't want to go to midnight. I do apologise to the one person that might be watching, which probably just Rex. But we've yeah, got things to discuss as well. <sighs> that makes it sound really like dark and weird. Man, That's a good point. Uh, all right. Thank you for turning up. I'm going to keep this up as a video. Oh my god, Sage Cactus! I might. I haven't seen Sage Cactus in ages! Sniff, sniff, sniff! You good? I'm sniffing! Oh, okay. I missed you, Sage. I love you. Alright. Uh, yeah, thanks for everyone for joining in. And thank you for... Oh, if anyone does end up watching this afterwards, uh, Dune and Dane, you're the only person to get it right. You guessed 35. I will be 35 in 30 minutes. I'm going to do a big what fart about? at midnight. You win... Nothing. nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> you're always lurking. Um, <laughs> well, it's Dune lovely to hear from you. There's no no one really watching. It's getting late. You know? Buffett's got some crying to do before his age changes. Some crying to do. Yeah, exactly. We've got to talk about my penis getting more shriveled, long. I thought you were going to talk about being engorged. No, not in the way I like. It's swelling at the end like a beach ball. We shouldn't keep slamming it in the door to make it longer. 
Hey, that's what the internet said. Oh, thank you, Sage Cactus. You put the end in the door, slam it, and then you stand as far back as you can. It makes it longer. Sprinkle a little bit of salt oh, on the head. Yeah, exactly, Rick. Penis. <laughs> he takes us. He really? crapped out for a minute and was like, penis, penis. No, Rex, we were literally talking about my penis. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Like, I literally left and I just heard slam it in the door and it gets longer. And I was like, well, what else is it going to be? Oh, it been my, could have been my nipples. How very astute of you. To... <laughs> Why? Why are we talking about my nipples? Again. Because <laughs> uh... <laughs> I, tri- I, I often trip over my... <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I do too. She's always walking next to me. It's very... Sometimes I wrap them around my neck like a scarf. Oh my Swing god. Over your shoulder and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to use them as shoelaces, I'll be honest. <laughs> Alright. Bro, what? <laughs> Nothing? Thanks for watching, everyone. Everybody wish Bluff a happy birthday! Bye! Bye.